In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use color palettes to create sophisticated color systems for your Webflow project in minutes. We'll start by copying colors into a Webflow project. We'll discuss what each color component is used for. And lastly, we'll use the colors to style a component so that you can see how color classes are used. So let's get started. To copy a color palette, you can simply find the color you want and hit copy. Then you will want to paste it somewhere in your Webflow project where you can access it all in the one place. We've set up the Reloom Library Style Guide version 1.2 to make this process easier for you. But if you aren't using the latest Reloom Library Style Guide or even the Reloom Style Guide and using FinSuite Style Guide, then we advise you to just paste this anywhere below the Style Guide as long as it's visible and it's in the one place. So I'll go ahead and because I copied the color sample component, I'll paste uh, it into the color sample location. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this below. Great. Now, you might be wondering what color samples are used for, and to answer that question, they're used to create color swatches inside of a project. They are designed for easy access to colors, which makes the process of creating a color swatch easier. So if I click this div here and scroll down to the color, it's already there, it's, and I, all I need to do is click the color, um, add swatch, title it, the same as what I've titled it and press create. And so what I want to do is I want to just do that for each color um, and, and add that in. Now let's jump back over to the Realm library where you can see background colors and text colors. So background colors are color classes that change the background colors in Webflow. So you can use these colors uh, for changing the color background color of a section or of a div or of a label, etc. Now text colors, it's pretty self-explanatory. These are basically you're copying in a bunch of pre-built text classes that enable you to use text color classes as combo classes for changing the text color. Uh, so what we'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll add in a bunch of colors into my Webflow project and then we can use those colors to bring a design to life. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to copy the same gray for the background color and text colors and I'm just gonna paste that in here. And I'm gonna go back and copy the text color version paste that in here. What I'm also looking for is a blue. So what I want to do is search through the blue color samples, find a blue that works for me and I like this dark blue here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to paste that in. And I will also need the background color for the, the dark blue so I'll click background colors and paste that in below here. And the text color as well. Now, I will also want to add in a green, so I'll just go ahead and I'll add the green that I want to the Webflow project. Great, I'm now ready to use the color palettes to style a component. So what I'll do is I'll go to the home page and then I'll go to the Realm library and go to pricing sections. Click the pricing sections uh, and then um, select this pricing 12 component and I'll paste that in here, great. So I'm going to now apply the color classes uh, to the styling of this 
particular component. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of this section. So I'm gonna click the section pricing 12 div, which is a custom class, which means just applying the uh, color to uh, the class makes most sense instead of using a background class for this. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change it to gray 100. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a text color class to this, uh, to this uh, subheading. The reason why I'm using a class here is because I like to use global classes for text. It just makes uh, creating text a lot more systematic. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna change the color of the text entirely across the entire section and website. So a quick way of doing that is to go to the body uh, and then go to color. And instead of using black, like the original black that we use, um, I'm gonna actually make it gray 700. So it's a little bit of a softer, softer gray. Cool. And now, as you can see here, that's changed all the text here. Now for the subheading, I do like to go for a lighter gray just to create that hierarchy. So what I'll do is I'll go text color gray and I'll use gray 500 here. Uh, here I will add the text color blue dark, which I'll go with 600 again. Uh, and then for this one, I'll repeat the same. Uh, and then for this, I'll go with the text color uh, gray 500, which is used uh, in the sub this subheading too. So I'll add that in. Cool, awesome. Now for the rest of the text, it looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is change the color of the background of this component. And this is a custom class, so it's best to change the color directly um, on here. And then what else I'll do is I'll actually change the border color. So the black and white is how all the Relu library components start, but of course, black and white doesn't always work. So what I'm gonna add here is a gray 200 border. And that actually looks a little bit too light given the background because this is a bit of a dark gray background. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use gray 300 for this. And I'll apply for the sake of consistency the same gray for the dividers. So that is gray 300. Awesome. Now that's looking pretty good. What is left is the buttons and the icon here. Uh, for the button, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, click the selector, go to button and I want us to style the button class so it applies across all buttons. So what I wanna do is I wanted to make the button uh, blue 600. And what I'll do is also add a blue 600 to the border here as well. I can add a bit of an effect here and make the border a bit darker, which gives like a bit of a different feel. Um, but I think I'm just gonna stick with consistency here and just make it a flat color. Cool. Now, in terms of the hover state, what I'll do is I'll click hover state and I'll use a darker tone here for the, black, for the blue 800. So you can clearly see the hover state. Because this is a hover state, it's always good to have a transition, soften up the interaction. So as you can see here, we have a clear hover state that is in line with that that blue tone, cool. And then lastly, we have the icons. So first thing I'm going to do with this icon here is I'm actually gonna click the custom class wrapper and I'm going to select the color here. Uh, and I'm gonna make this uh, a dark green. And then what I'm gonna do is for the background, I'm gonna use a lighter green so I can go with probably with the 50 here. Uh, and then I might want to just go 100% radius and maybe add a little bit of a border around this. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Great, cool. And that's looking pretty good. Now, in terms of any other colors, I think I've covered it all. This is looking pretty nice. I can take this further with some uh, shadow classes um, you know, adding shadow into this would make the, the, the component look a little nicer too. 
um, I can add uh, I can add like curved radius around the borders to soften up the look as well. Add a little bit of a cur curvature there, and that is looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, that is how you can begin to use color the color swatches and the color palettes uh, to create more sophisticated UI. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful and you would like to continue to improve your design and development workflow on Webflow, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you would like to see more videos like this, you can visit the Realum University on our website. And if you would like to join a community of designers and developers using Webflow, you can join our Slack channel, it's free, and you can find it on our website in the footer and also on our socials. Thanks for watching this video and enjoy building.